Hi, welcome to this Schoology tutorial about submitting Google Documents to Schoology. In particular, we're going to take a look at using the Google Drive resource app. So when you're on a Chromebook, it's harder to work on files that are in Word or PowerPoint, and you tend to use the Google Drive for a lot of your productivity needs, such as Google Docs or Google Sheets. So how do we submit something like this to an assignment? Well, we're going to go to the assignment and uh, pay attention to the documentation in the assignment as far as how does your teacher want the assignment to look. Do they want a Google Drive link where they shared it with you, shared it with them? Uh, you know, in this case, uh, you know, we're just going to submit it via the Google Drive app. And it's kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm giving them a, a Word document. And you're going to see in a moment um, how that looks. So the first thing I would do is go to Submit Assignment. And when you submit assignments, you have three choices. The first choice is to upload a file from your computer. In this case, we're looking at Google Drive documents. So it's not on my computer. It's on my Google Drive, which is in the cloud. I could record something, which is pretty cool, too, and then add a comment. So I'm just kind of going through the assignment tools in general with you as we make our way to the final one. If I click on Create, this is a place where I can actually just start typing. This is a nice place, too, if you are working on a Chromebook, you could author your content here. The only thing that I will tell you about that is to be careful, because if you lose connectivity, uh, there's a possibility you would lose what you are typing here. So I would click on Save Draft often if you're doing that. Uh, in fact, I'd probably make it somewhere else and then copy and paste it in here. That's just my experience. But you can put something short in here, like a link, for example. Resources is really where I wanted to go because I wanted to show you how to use the Google Drive app in Resources. So this is assuming that you've already set up the Google Drive app. And if you haven't already done so, you want to go to Apps when you're in Resources. So you would back out of this, go to Resources, click on Apps, and then um, set up the Google Drive app. So I'm going to click on Apps, and I've already set it up. So it is showing me the most recent items in my Google Drive at the top. There is no search capability here. Uh, that's one thing I'd like to see added. What I would probably do if I knew I was going to be doing this with a lot of files is I would go into Google Drive and maybe make a change or two on some of the documents so they go up to the top. So it's recent changes or recently created docs that uh, those are the reasons why they're at the top of the list. So if this was a file I already knew that I wanted to submit it, I could put a check mark by it, click on import, import file, and there it is importing. And it looks like it is the name, but it put this dot docx on the end of it. And it's kind of translating the document. So it took it from the Google Drive format and it was sort of translating it into a format that Schoology can understand. So I've submitted the assignment. And if I click on where it says assignment submitted, I can click on that and see when it was submitted, the name of the document. I could download the file if I so chose or just review it. I can't edit it though after I handed it in. Uh, I could even add a comment here if I needed to. To get out, I would click that X. So let's just take one more look at this just so you can see another option or two. So assignments, you can as submit more than once. If you do that, let your teacher know that you did that because it's, it's not always obvious to them. So I'm going to click on resubmit, resources, get back to where we were, show you a really cool tip. Uh, and that is that, say you got here in Schoology, but you didn't feel like going out to Google Drive to create a new document. There's a button in here that you could go to add resource, or resources, add Google document. So it's actually, letting you create a Google document without being in the drive. So I'm just going to say, put my name in it. So this submit is actually to Google saying, create the document. Now, when you do that, it does tend to go down to the bottom, I found. So I could click on the title, and it opens up another window with Google Drive. So I could just start working on the document right away. I could share it, everything that you're used to in Google Docs. Okay, so I can, I'm just going to type some text here, just so there's something in there. Okay, I'm going to close it out. 
And here, okay, I would then click on it if I wanted to submit it, import, import file. Two other things I want to show you is that if you go to the cogwheel, you usually have three choices. So this is a new file I just made. I could click on edit and it would let me edit in Google Docs. If I click on delete of anything in this Google Drive resource app, it will delete it in my Google Drive in the Schoology view that I have here. So use this very carefully. That could be a nice tool to help you clean out your Google Drive, but don't think that when you click delete that it only deletes it from this Schoology window. It deletes it in both places. And then I have the import file option. The other thing I wanted to mention to you is that if you had a document that was shared with you and it needed to be handed in, you could click on shared with me and then click the document and then import. And by the way, if something's in a folder and you need to import it, just click on the folder and there's actually nothing in that folder, but uh, you would then see items that are in the folder. So I hope this is helpful in helping you submit assignments through the Google Drive resource app in Schoology. Thanks.